What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is officially the day that we are getting my wrecked F-350 rebuilt once and for all. As you guys saw a few months ago, we sadly had a pretty crazy crash happen in this truck, but we are rebuilding everything today. And as of last night, we've actually already made a little bit of progress. This front core support was cracked after the front end collision. We had some bent frame rail pieces up here, and we also had a condenser for the AC that was completely trashed. Luckily last night, we spent some time getting all that replaced removed all of the broken parts and now we're just ready to get this bumper put up in place get this new fender put up in place headlight grill and shut the hood because we have a huge road trip that we're about to take that is 5230 miles across 16 states and we're going to be taking this with our two car hauler behind it so we've actually simultaneously to this been working on the trailer as well because uh our our wheel fell off going down the highway and so over here, we've got two new hubs put on, the wheels and tires ready to go. And then on the other side, we've literally just got one hub. We're ready to hit the road, man. Don't forget 14 times entries is still live until the end of February, which means you've got less than two weeks at this point to grab entries. So don't forget new engine coming soon, transmission rebuild coming very soon. And I promise you guys are not gonna wanna miss what's next. So stay tuned. Yeah. After we get done with this transformation of the truck's appearance, over here in these boxes, we have an entire lift kit and also 37 inch tires down in the other garage that we're gonna be installing on the truck. And it is gonna make this thing look crazy. So before this road trip though, of course, we don't wanna lift it and put these giant tires on. We would get terrible gas mileage across these 5,230 miles. Plus we don't wanna put all those miles on our brand new tires. So we're gonna take it as it sits, then do everything like that afterwards. With that being said, let's finish this truck up. So to get this fender to actually hold in place, it's funny, but they glue it on. There is a bolt down here that holds it as well, but it's mainly glued on. There's multiple bolts, but yeah. also glue. But the glue seems to do more work than the bolts do. <laughs> this stuff holds. Yes, sir. Dude, we're looking like Goon Squad out here, rebuilding total vehicles and shit. <laughs> for the, how many time for this thing? Yeah, <laughs> we're about to, dude. We need to step up. Maybe you're like a C8 Corvette or one of them Lamborghinis next. <laughs> It's so funny laying a new bead over the old bead that we just had installed like months ago. <laughs> Doing again. I like the way you seem seal. Dude, it's satisfying whenever you get a little groove going. That's nice, Mr. Pro. So now we have to sit and wait for that to tack fire, right? Uh. <laughs> gonna grab the hardware real quick. We're gonna start lining the fender. And once we have it at least relatively in place, we can tighten the bolts down. By the end of this video, we're gonna have a freaking restored towing. Oh my God! All right, I've got mine in line. I've also got mine in line. So there we go, fender is at least roughly put up in place. We just stuck mm -hmm. it, that seam sealer. So now we just gotta get a bolt in, hold it in place, we're good. All right, first test close of the door. Very close right here. Oh. No. Uh, go back a little bit. Yeah, we'll have to pull that back. Here, I'll push it more. All right, try now. All right, go slow. Keep going. That looks like it clears. Yep, and then open it up real slow. It's pretty it tight. I can take this more. bolt out a little bit and let me do that. Yeah, see how this is tucked in a little bit too much? We'll just pull that out like a half inch. Okay. All right, a little bit of adjustments. Oh yeah, that's way better. That's way better. Nice, dude. Yep, <laughs> that looks great. Now we can get the fender cleaned up. This is just keeping it from getting scratched right now. Get the headlight put in and we are getting so close already. Let's go. Oh yeah. Let's go. Solid. Fender's installed, which means the headlight can go in next. This is what I'm really excited for though. I love these lights. Yeah, cool. Yep. All right, you can turn it back off. Sweet. Oh, carefully, carefully. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Coming along. Dang, dude. You wanna help me throw this bumper on? Absolutely. Next step, let's get the bumper put off. I gotta zip tie all these harnesses inside of the bumper so they're not flapping around in the wind. And we get that a little bit closer to our final product. We just 
have a few threads over here holding this thing on, but this is looking so freaking good, dude. Addictive Desert Designs makes some amazing bumpers. This is their Stealth Fighter for the 2020 and up F-Series trucks, and these just look pretty damn good, man. I can't lie. In combination with those rigid light bars that we got specced in here and the pods over on the side, this should be so bright and amazing at night. It's gonna be awesome, dude. And as we've proven now, these ADD bumpers do really well in crashes. You can just replace the little crush pieces, I guess you will. And then after that, the frame rails are perfectly fine. Now you can put a new bumper on and it looks just completely like nothing happened. All right, while they're getting the rest of the bolts put up for the bumper, I guess I'm gonna start on the grill and start installing that since nothing else has to get done up top. This is gonna come out amazing. Huge thanks to ADD, by the way, for getting that bumper sent over. We appreciate you guys. Check it out. All the mounting tabs for the logo on the grill broke off. So I'm drilling these tiny little holes in the studs so that way I can hopefully get a bolt threaded in there. All right, let's try it out. Oh yeah, I'm an engineer, what you mean? There we go, now that emblem is gonna be held up in place. Sick! Huge shout out to Morimoto, by the way, these guys sent over all the lighting for this truck that we're gonna be installing in today's video. Huge shout out to Revamoto, they sent over the body parts to restore this truck back again to top notch shape. And again, huge thanks to Addictive Desert Designs for making this bumper really, really strong and reliable. So, I'm so pumped, man. Let's watch this video, figure out how to install this thing, cause look, that grill, that looks good, dude. That looks crazy good, dude. Well, we gotta pull this back out real quick. That way we can get a harness in there. But, luckily we're not too far. All right, we got the harness ran up here through. Now we can plug all this in. Basically, this is like a little harness that interrupts. Well, I think we'll be right back. All right, dude, check it out. We're getting the harness plugged up into the factory headlight. Right here. <clears throat> Now, technically, we should be good for a test run of this thing, I think. Go down there, put this in. All right, now we should be able to see something. Is it cool? Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it's really, really cool. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that's gonna look freaking dude. insane. Oh my goodness, dude, that grill looks crazy. This is probably the best lighting setup of a truck that we have ever had on the channel, dude. That is so cool. Dang. And they were cool enough to do it paint matched already for us. Can't even, I can't even lie. That is some awesome stuff, dude. Huge, huge, huge shout out Morimoto. Let's get this turned on one more time just so we can see. We can actually shut the hood now on it too. Dang, bro. We have the fog lights, the light bar, the grill that has LEDs, the four projectors. Then we have the running lights here. I mean, this is an insane amount of lumens, dude. I mean, like, this is the realest. I, there's heat. I feel heat on my head. This is crazy bright. I I yeah, that's how I like to do them. <laughs> Bro. I'm glad this fender fitment was good. Oh yeah, for real, I didn't even check that. <laughs> it's great, it's great Oh nice, yeah, it does fit really close actually. Let's go. That is really amazing. Girth of the tow rig is back in commission and ready for a big road trip. Lastly, we just need to do a service on it. So we're gonna do oil change, fuel filter, and a few other things before we take this massive trip. But that is about all, man. She is almost ready. Got this before. Yeah. We don't want that in there. Mm -mm. This is Morimoto's new taillights that they just came out with for the F-350s. That is gonna look way better than that. Let's go ahead and get started removing this. Taillights are usually pretty easy, so. I haven't done them on this truck though, I must say. One, two, three. There you go. <laughs> I didn't like how it sounded, but it worked. All right, let's see if this works. She'll just plug in. Mm-hmm. Looks, looks good. It's just one running light. Dang. Oh yeah. That looks really cool. So we got the smoked housing, solid running light like that from the stock split with just like the red housing. So nah, that looks really good. Let's try the hazards. Oh, they switch back too. That's cool. So this is the running light out here. This is the blinker. That's actually really nice. Yeah, that looks way better than that. All right, I definitely love how that looks. So we're gonna get this plastic pulled back and prep for a final install. Mm. 
Now two bolts go in, we're done. I made that way too easy for you to not want to go buy a set for yourself. Guys, please go check out Morimoto's products. These are hands down the best lighting sets in the entire world. Look at that. that looks the blacked so out blind spot radar too. Oh my gosh. Same thing on the other side. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Not again. The rear of this truck is clean enough to look so good, dude. Definitely two thumbs up on those Morimoto taillights, man. That is so awesome. Pose on the phone with Ford right now to see if they can fit us in to be able to get this thing serviced today. Let's go ahead and fire the dually up and get this thing pulled out. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing moved out. The work truck is back, man. This thing is back in commission and looking better than ever with this new grill, the new Morimoto lights. The front looks great, but the back even looks better now too. Bro, that is so sick, man. Can you believe that this truck is about to be six inches taller on 37 inch tires instead of a 32 and a half inch? Like these already look pretty big, but these are only 32 and a half, dude. I love it, dude. Now we just wait on the studs to come in for the new hub and then we put that on the trailer and our whole entire tow rig is good to go. go on a big old trip. Dang bro. Oh, well guys, we're gonna go ahead and take this thing to get service real quick. After that, it's gonna be good to go. All right, I had to give you guys an update after the trailer wheel fell off and show you where we're at with this thing. We're obviously prepping for this big road trip so we had to get this thing ready for a lot of miles. So this one has already been replaced. Inside of the wheel well, you guys can see that we've already got a new hub, this new very nice outer seal, I guess you will, and all new bearings inside of here as well. Now, we actually found out that this part here that was upgraded might have been what caused our failure that led to the wheel falling off. So basically that cap there holds all the grease inside of those bearings and keeps them lubricated whenever you're traveling down the road. Well, apparently the old style of those is very very flimsy and breaks easy here's an example of one of the old style ones over here this one is plastic and these obviously get to a very high temperature and cold temperature being that it's kept outside and this creates a very very brittle cover and what had happened unfortunately is that this cap right here that is plastic on the other side broke and all the grease went out inside of this so this is the cap that is on the outside and unless you pull this inspection cover back you wouldn't have seen that so unfortunately we did not catch that and it led to the wheel falling off completely but we got four new hubs we've already replaced them on the other side i just wanted to grab the camera and let you guys catch up with where we were at i'm about to get this one removed though and then we can swap on the new hub over here as well and tighten everything down put the wheel back on and we'll really only have one more left till we're done so let me grab these giant do my higgies. Loosen that. Nice. And inside of here, we've got a big castle nut that we gotta get removed and a freaking cotter pin. This pin goes in here to keep the nut from spinning off so that way your wheel doesn't fall off going down the road. Oh. Now that we got the cotter pin out, this castle nut is just gonna spin off. Oh, that's okay. Right. We're gonna get that spun off. We're gonna grab this and get that little washer. It's got a seal on it because there's grease right now. Give me your fucking, there we go. Oh, oh, holy, okay. I just gotta clean this up and get ready to install our new hub because this hub is screwed, but everything inside of here still looks good. Our trailer brakes look like they got plenty of life back here on the shoes, so we should be all right. Now we're gonna sell our new hub. Washer. Cast on my now fifty-five foot pounds of torque. Right now this spindle nut is just cinching down on those bearings inside of the hub. We're gonna get it torqued down with 
proper spec. Then we can go inside and grab a cotter pen. Oh, look at you. Okay. There we go. That will slip through there. Push that down. We're going to bend. It's hard to see, but one side of this is going to go this way, one side's going to go the other way. Now, that little cotter pin is going to keep everything from backing out. So next up, we just got to put our cap over, all the bearing stuff. Got to wash my hands and throw the wheel back on. We're pretty much wrapped up. Now that we got the hub back on, we've got our spindle nut, we've got the cotter pin, everything in place, tightened down. We're going to replace this crappy little plastic cap with this much, much nicer cast metal one. This is like way, way better. I don't think that this one is going to shear off and throw our grease everywhere and leave us stranded again. So get that threaded onto the little hub itself. And that's going to keep all the grease inside where it belongs. Get that mode tightened down a little bit. This is not the proper tool. Perfect. And guess what? Now get the wheel back on. We're gonna start doing this regularly, like once a year. That way we just never have to worry about anything again. And so over here, you can see now these caps looking really, really good, right? Well, the old caps, whenever they broke, guess where all that grease went? See that? Ew. <gasps> no, I'm joking, but that <laughs> does not, that is not where we need lubrication at. Not inside of that. We need it inside of the bearings. So this is most likely why this burnt up. So let me clean all this out of this cap. And then we can throw the wheel back on. After that, we're done. <laughs> Please do not forget to go to itsjustasix.com. Grab 14 times entries by literally getting anything like a hoodie or a hat or anything off of the site. And don't forget, this car is about to get really, really wicked.